Yeah, I'm driving by this huge tree and the tree calls out to me. And I said, is this the tree talking to me? And the tree says, yes, stupid, I'm talking to you. And I said, wow. And he, I said, why are you talking to me? And the tree says, because you can hear me. And I told the lady I'm driving with, stop, stop, stop the car. Why? I got to go talk to the tree. And she says, you want to talk to a tree? And I said, yes, me and the tree, we want to talk. And so I got out and this huge fig tree, the fig tree was over 175 or so years old and it had seen uh, lots of people. It had seen people do very foolish things. It had seen a few people do very wise things. And he said the secret of life is to be aware, have no fear, and go forth and be in harmony with Mother Nature. And I said, amen, tree, I agree with that. When I was in the Nam, that's what saved my life, because I was in harmony with nature, where other people were out of sync with nature. Yes, the tree says, energy is everything. Everything else is secondary. And I said, you are one smart tree. And the tree says, well, what do you expect? I've been around longer than him, her, or you. And I said, you, yeah, there's an advantage to living a long life. Because then you get to uh, erase your mistakes. Like with a pencil, with an eraser, you can always erase your mistakes, make amends, and go on. And the tree says, ah, you're not as stupid as I thought you were. I said, I, she said, I'm glad I stopped you and I'm glad I spoke to you. I don't get to speak to too many of you uh, two-leggeds. You have mobility and you're always moving fast, fast, fast. And he said, you have to stop and sometimes smell my figs. And I said, yes, you have beautiful foliage. You are a magnificent tree. And when I grow up, I want to be a tree just like you, and that might make a better me.